So starting from the question number one, how many scans do you scan with i700 wireless scanner? So uh, my experience with the wireless scanner is like this. I usually tend to do from four to six cases. Uh, if I do smaller cases, like uh, on lays, in lays, single crowns or small bridges, it's, uh, um, it's uh, a good possibility to have four to six scans, full scans. But if I do larger cases, because the scanner needs to, to stay active and goes to sleep and goes back in, and I'm going to handle two pre-ops and two ops and uh, more multiple occlusions, dynamic occlusions, face scans, I'm going to add some additional scans for uh, maybe dynamic, more, uh, dynamic tracking of the jaws. So with everything together, I tend to have uh, in very, very big cases, maybe one to one and a half scans. So I always have a spare battery prepared. And I, when I finish the first one, I have my assistant place it already in the cradle to get it full charge. Because as you'll find out in the second webinar, uh, the charge time for a battery is around three to four hours. And with this charge time, you need, and the real actual scanning time is one hour. So you can uh, uh, run through batteries, but because you're going to have a lot of time uh, between scannings, uh, the first battery is going to get charged with no problems at all. Mm. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to question number two. Do you normally warm up your scanner before starting to scan? Yes, of course, it's uh, imperative to do this because uh, let's think it think this through from a physical perspective. Uh, every object in the universe has uh, a variable dimension that is um, tended by its warmth. When uh, objects are warmer, they get bigger. When they are colder, they get smaller. So the cameras need to be in the right place, one to the other. And also the scanner needs to have everything warmed up. It knows exactly what it does. When it starts, it's just going to give you a notification and start heating up. When you start heating up your scanner, it depends on what type of connection is you're using. So for the connected scanners, it's usually easier to get them warmed up on the USB-A connection because uh, they're also plugged in the socket and the, uh, the actual power comes from the socket. So the warming up is, is very fast. USB-C connections is uh, very easy to set up connection. It takes a little bit more time, but if the laptop is plugged in, this also works well enough. And uh, the wireless unit has its batteries to do this, but always, always my recommendation to you is every time the scanner asks for itself to get warmed up, let it do so. For example, in the middle of a scan, if you have a big, big case and a scanner goes to sleep, sometimes it will ask you to get itself warm again. So please don't skip that. Let it do its thing because precision accuracy is going to be reliant mm -hmm. on this particular warning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So question number three, do I need to do calibration for scanner and is calibration only good for precision? Uh, well, this calibration is actually very important. You can set it from one, uh, one day to 30 days. Uh, I usually keep mine on 30, 14 days, so two weeks. Every two weeks, I'm going to calibrate my scanner. Uh, mm -hmm. Calibration covers two parts. First, also calibration asks for the scanner to be warm enough. So let it also warm up. Then do your calibration. This, work, uh, this uh, actually handles the precision of your models but also the accuracy of your colors. So you have, mm -hmm. if you have a unit that determines its colors, when, that lets you determine colors, uh, also do calibration if you want to have proper results. Um, also, I'm going to mention this in the second webinar. Let's hear it out from now. If you have a big, important case, even if you had your calibration yesterday, just recalibrate. If you have a big implant case, if you have a full arch, Always calibrate before doing this. Mm. There were so many tips that Dr. Bogdan just gave us today. I hope this helps. That's all about it for today. You'll be able to watch this webinar on our YouTube channel and Medit Academy once it's completed. We would appreciate your feedback. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Medit.edu and Medit.com. Thank you for being here, Dr. Bogdan. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.